Alright, uh, hello, good afternoon everybody. We're your casters for this um, Mesa Tournament uh, for Hearthstone. I'm Panda User. And I'm Gia. And this is the fourth Mesa Tournament. Mm -hmm. um, this has been a monthly event going on. And we are going to be casting the top eight. A match between Kara Cute and... And People Cute. <laughs> <laughs> calling it the Cute Wars. Ano kaya yung title natin for this event? Yeah, I mean, let's go with Cute Wars. Uh, <laughs> so something notable for these two players, uh, they're both from the, the guild. <laughs> It's Guild Wars. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so uh, for those of you who don't know, also Kara Q, uh, good news for their team in HGG. They're mm -hmm. moving up. And also, recently, Kara's been with the t the team TNC. Yeah, you know? she recently got signed as TNC's first Hearthstone mm. player. They're more known for Dota, but it's nice to see that they're expanding now. Mm. And Kara, definitely a good pickup. As Panda mentioned, they're moving on in HGG along with... Um, Shock, Staz, and Waning Moon mm -hmm. to phase two. So I'm really excited for Kara, especially because she's been so active after signing yeah. with her team. Just uh, you mentioned nga mas parang ginaganahan siya. And you know, I'm glad to see that the Hearthstone scene is, you know, uh, well, it's not really steady, but it's really moving up in the scene. For we sure. can see that more people are joining in. Uh, you know, even TNC signing up with Kara as a major sponsor, and I think she she's like the first female player also for TNC for Hearthstone. Yeah, I think. So, I, I mean, yeah. TNC. Yeah, as you mentioned, they've mostly been on the Dota 2 scene, but now Hearthstone. That's going to be a big thing right now. I mean. You know, for everybody right now who's, uh, who's really into Hearthstone, uh, the the game is really in the hype scene. It, and it's just the start of the year. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we're about halfway through the year, yeah, well, but I uh, think true. <laughs> <laughs> a lot has been going on. Okay. So we're going to get into the match very soon. And um, talking about the lineups, I was just telling Panda that we don't have to look at Kara's decks, just her classes, <laughs> because we know Kara Cute is... A premier aggro player, mm. and here we see her queuing up the aggro druid against Pipoy Cute's Quest Rogue, which mm. we mentioned would be a liability in his lineup because it is so vulnerable to aggressive decks. Um, mm. uh, we saw mutual warrior bans, so Pipoy Cute's um, Quest Warrior is banned and Kara Cute's Pirate Warrior is banned. Mm. Well, as we can see wait, right now, uh, oops, oh, there, there we go. So, let's see, favorable right now for, uh, oh yeah, Kara's the druid, excuse me. So, well, P Boy uh, act activated the quest, but it's not really looking good for uh, yeah. for P Boy right now. I mean, Kara's hand is insane. Mm -hmm. She can go fledgling and play the Firefly, <laughs> and, and then next turn she can follow up with the Flame Elemental and Mark of the Lotus. And there's just no answer for this. <laughs> oh, <no> answer. <laughs> the green is <laughs> coming out. We know these two have been longtime friends, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. great back from P Boy. But I don't see what he's gonna be able to do about this. Yeah. Innervate fledgling is. So, oh, look, uh, well, the Glacial Shard is actually there. can stop the fledgling from being activated right now. Yeah, she might have to go for that and then mm -hmm. follow up with Dark Creeper, but then it's kind of off curve, mm -hmm. and she doesn't, uh, People Cute doesn't have any um, thing that he really wants to bounce among these. I guess he could go for the Ferryman, but then there's no combo card for yeah, the Yeah, there's next no turn. combo card. And the, the Glacial Shard. For Kara right now, I think Kara needs to kill the Glacial Shard so it doesn't, you know, get to be procced again. And that's going to be annoying if it's going to keep freezing the units right now. Yep. So I think she's going to go for Flame Elemental plus mm -hmm. Mark of the Lotus and then trade. Or she could also just Hero Power down the 2-1 and then yeah, Mark of the Lotus true. next turn. It seems fine. Um, I guess she might want to buff the Raptor to play around a top deck backstab, but then she knows that there was no backstab because yeah. it wasn't played last Because it's a quest rogue. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, not Some, a lot of yeah. quest rogues run the backstab in the yeah, just to clear, no. They, they'd rather get their quest done and then rush down the enemy yeah. Some lists still so. run backstab, but I hardly see any with Eviscerate anymore. Mm -hmm. So, if you're Kara, I guess you just want to play down more cards. She has Genzo the Shark on 4, so... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. a pretty good curve right yeah. now. Looking good for Kara. Yeah. Mark of the Lotus does goes down, takes down the Glacial Shard and ends it. Yeah. Yeah. the Shark is a really mm -hmm. interesting addition in the Agro Druid. I've seen some people 
playing that, but mm -hmm. it's not too common. And now people it actually has two Igneous Elementals, so we could finish the quest, but it'll take at least three more yeah, turns. And that Fledgling is just gonna get way too strong. And oh, and another insane. Mark of Lotus. That is the best draw in Kara's deck for this situation. That's so now true. she doesn't float any mana, the Fledgling can get a clean trade, or she can double trade into those and still have the Flame Elemental survive, and the Fledgling can go mm. phase. I prefer that. For it's sure. true. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right now, mm -hmm. I mean, go to uh, f trade with a 3-2, three, 3-4, three, and then the Fledgling will just go Face crazy. <laughs> get Wind Fury every time. Yeah. I mean, if she wants to play it safe, I wouldn't mind also just taking the value trade because it's so hard for the quest rogue to clear minions that have more than one health. Mm -hmm. So, well, she does well, <laughs> get the Wind Fury. This is why Kara is known as one of the best aggro players. Oh, look, there's another free free, yeah. but it doesn't activate. Probably anything. just take the can't be targeted mm -hmm. or Death Rattle. It doesn't seem like the Fledgling will die anytime okay, soon. Oh, the Death Rattle. So, these choices aren't that great, but the fact that she got Wind Fury means that this is going to be over very soon. People needed something like Preparation Vanish mm -hmm. here, but yeah. neither of those cards are in hand. <laughs> so there's just nothing Unfortunately, can do. nothing can be yeah, done. Yeah, it looks like he might just concede here. Yeah, Car I think the first round definitely goes to Carol right <laughs> now. <laughs> well played going down. Emo emotes flying around, that's why it's true. Like, they are cute for sure. <laughs> Well, you know, as uh, as we've mentioned before, these are both Gildas players. They know each other pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you know, it's it's not it's natural for these both to emote. And the first round does go to Kara. Congratulations for that druid right there and then. All right. So I'm assuming that Kara, having other aggressive decks, she might be running maybe an aggressive mage. I'm not actually sure mm -hmm. of all the deck lists in particular. But we know that Peepoy also has, aside from that quest rogue, two Jade decks, Jade Shaman and Jade Druid. And Jade Shaman has not been so popular lately. The That's most true. popular form of Shaman we've been seeing is Evolve Shaman, which I expect to see from Kara's lineup for sure. Yeah, Evolve Shaman is pretty good these days. I mean, you know, the, <laughs> the fact that you can get randomly good minions is, is, is great to know. But of course, you're going to have to manage that yourself. I mean, you don't overcommit too much, you know, don't... The, uh, you, you have to think about the turns as well when you want to evolve and devolve as well you know oh uh, for sure mm -hmm. the deck is not super straightforward okay so Kyra gonna queue up a murloc paladin ooh, so look. I'm wrong about the mage and ooh that's a crab <laughs> that's, that is a crab <laughs> alright Peepoy seems like t he's gotten the matchup he wanted oh and uh, Peepoy actually chooses to keep the vanish yeah prep vanish very mm -hmm. good against aggressive decks allows him to get the board back but I think we're just gonna be seeing probably some <laughs> okay, crab. crab action the value is right there oh okay oh, he chooses, wow. to, he chooses do to do this the like, cavern okay, oh, okay out the out. hungry crab I actually didn't mind just playing the hungry crab because it looks like he's not gonna be bouncing that mm -hmm. um, and then play the quest a little bit later and then try to complete it with the flame elementals but maybe he just wanted to be very aggressive <laughs> um, uh, that's unnatural as well. So yeah, oh, okay. Anyway, so see. he gets the Firefly and having the elemental in hand means that he'll only need one more oh, bounce yeah. effect to true, complete the true. quest. But is that even relevant? Like, Kara cannot come back from this. Look at this already. Yeah, like, I mean, the Hunger Grab but 3-4. Turn 1-3-4 <laughs> is impossible to deal with, especially since her own minion got eaten up. So, mm -hmm. om nom nom. <laughs> Yeah, things are uh, looking pretty great for Kara as well. I mean, people are in a good spot. Just play with the Firefly. Okay. Oh, play I thought with the it Firefly. was Igneous I thought it would be the Igneous sure. as well. It was just a much better use of the mm -hmm. mana. Because I, uh, <laughs> I think people wants to proc his dagger again so he can clear the board even more. But then again, I mean, you you already have the board. He just play with your minions turn. Yeah, well. I mean, I didn't see a reason to not play Igneous there, but... Oh, he played the, even the Fire Element, though, which is... Okay, I guess just getting the board for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, even Consecrate isn't that bad yeah. for him here, so... But I, I did really just prefer the Igneous. It's yeah, the Igneous really would have been better. It's it's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'd want to have the Fireflies, then keep playing your yeah. oh my uh, gosh. one by one. The quest will be finished. <laughs> yeah, eventually. it will be finished eventually. Uh, I mean, unless Kara never hits the um, Igneous, but then then mm. it's just going to deal two a turn. It's just going to deal two a turn, though. Yeah, so, so right now... Kara can play the Tide Caller mm -hmm. and the Rock Pool and then Hero Power. 
It's a little bit awkward because she wants to play the cold lights here because of the good stats. She might decide that over rock pool. But and she yeah. goes for the rock pool hunter. Okay, instead. I guess just to try and fit in that hero power. But I don't think the one one is very relevant. Right now, I think Kara is opting to kill the fire elemental. Yeah, I, of the I like that fly. because then. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, you people won't won't get the flame elementals in hand. He would have to suicide it himself, which is a little bit awkward. Mm -hmm. But he's still in a really really strong position. And if something goes wrong, he still has that prep vanish. That's true. Okay, the. But it, the it's more likely that down. it's gonna be prep quest. I'd like to see that igneous elemental come down and then probably just dagger off the tide color. Hmm. So people. Uh, considering, I think you go with the Igneous elemental this turn, or... Yeah, Igneous and Dagger seems really, really clean. Mm -hmm. He could... He could also and prep and Mimic Pod just to... Uh, the, the, just to see what people he could get. Yeah, we c I mean, it could help him with the next turn yeah. as well. well I really choose. don't think he needs the Mimic Pod and just save the prep for the quest when it comes out. Yeah, this seems okay. really fine. Um, I actually thought that he would trade the Flame Elemental into the Tide Collar and <laughs> then play down two Flame Elementals. It's just because it's difficult for um, Kara to clear, but this is also really fine. And yeah, now she wants to get something. What, which <laughs> what did she even get? get to stop oh. the quest? Coming? Okay. Uh, Taunt, poisonous. I think, no. Uh, maybe the, the death rattle. Oh, yeah. Also yeah, the death guess. rattle. Then. Uh, trying to draw into Tarim, I guess that would help her. Mm -hmm. So now, Yboy can finish the quest with the. Pro so he suicides the. Yeah, he yeah. suicides the igneous mm -hmm. elemental and then keeps fla uh I mean, keeps playing the flame elements even with the shadow steps right there. Yep. And <laughs> go, go crazy. One, two, three, four, prep quest. Seems good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think. He could play three and shadow step one so he can fit in the, uh, the yeah. glacial shard instead on the. Hmm. Wait, I'm not even aware if he's already played one. Maybe he only needs three to complete the quest here. Oh, oh yeah, 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 okay. So this turn is really insane. <laughs> <laughs> he can just do whatever he wants, yeah. Yeah, prep for the quiz. Oh, Glacial Shirt. Okay. Yeah, just to get rid of that 5-2 and make sure it doesn't get a really good trade. Mm -hmm. But not that it matters. This is over. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I mean, the minion is already at 5-5 five, five, and it's going to be annoying yeah. pretty much the whole game. Kara and can go for a cold light, thus try to get poisonous, but it's just not enough. No, <laughs> no way. It's not, it's not gonna happen. She could also maybe. just play down Curator and then curve into Drake next turn. <laughs> I mean, the minion is already at 5-5. Five, five. Even with the damage, uh, yeah, I mean, it I, I seems impossible. I don't see impossible. how she wins, though. Yeah. Once the minions are, I mean, once the quest is done, you're done. <laughs> yep. So just wasn't able to get the pressure mm -hmm. after that hungry crab was so insane. Yeah, so. the hungry crab ruined everything for Kara mm -hmm. right there and then. So right now, hmm, Kara thinking of the grime scale, and then the cold light seer, but it's not really an efficient use of mana. Uh, a curator. Okay. I guess she'll go for that plus hero power and Megasaur. Well, no, the, the Megasaur won't fit in after the code light. But oh, I thought she might not play it. Yeah. Okay. This. So hero power to try Megasaur. to get poisonous. Yeah, poisonous with okay, plus oh. free attack is fine as well. It essentially does the same thing. So now, if she draws. Tarim, she's not in a horrible spot, but people could just banish this yeah. if you really want. Yeah. Hmm. You could trade Go everything and then vanish. <laughs> That's gonna be annoying though. Yeah, but the vanish is quite expensive, mm -hmm. so I think it might just be um phase and bile fight but uh, sorry, bile tide and shadow step it so you get two five. Ah, five yeah, you get two five five dots. And if he's doing that then I guess you should mimic pod first to see what he draws. And come on. You, you can do yeah, it. If you mimic pods into a charger, it's just lethal because he can shadow step the charger. Mm. I don't think. Oh, he's oh, going for the. Oh, he actually went for the play. I'm sorry. I said. I mean, this isn't. He not. He doesn't lose this way either. Uh, it's not horrible. <laughs> yeah. But I was surprised he went for the play. I said. I mean. Yeah, I think he had a lot of outs for lethal, but. That's true. This is fine. I mean. 
which is uh, just an unlosable spot. So Kara here, I think, is forced to play curator. Yeah, curator definitely, and and she probably could try the to get taunt on the murlocs. Like she can play two murlocs and try to get taunt on mm-hmm. those. It seems better than curator, yeah. It does seem but, better than curator. But uh, I don't know if it's enough. Uh, I mean, it's just not enough. It's not enough. <laughs> Never mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, okay, she does go for the Grim Scale Chum. Probably. Mm, could go for the Oracle, then what you said with the uh, She could. Gentle. She might play Curator here, but yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, Kyra's That's going to go with. big cold lights here. <laughs> the 5 6 cold lights here. Oh, no, I don't think it's going to be done. Yeah, it's over. Uh, Okay, Kara concedes right. in so second round goes to people. Yeah, people must be very relieved to get that win with the quest row because it's bad against Kara's other decks mm-hmm. for sure. So That's true. Um, we it's got a game now. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's good to get that out of the way. I mean, it's so annoying to see a quest row yeah, so <laughs> these days. Now people probably will look to queue up his shaman. I think it mm-hmm. has a better chance against these decks that flood the board than Druid because uh, the Jade Shaman runs Volcano, mm-hmm. probably Lightning Storm as well. Just things that can help be yeah, controlling. The board. Mm-hmm. Whereas the Jade Druid has um, less methods of removal. So I feel like that's the deck that will be a bit more difficult for mm-hmm. him to win with. Yeah, so in Kara's situation, if she's still going to stick with the Paladin, she has to not overcommit with the board and balance it. Uh, I mean, you know, you play around the Lightning Sword, play around the, the Maelstrom portals. Yeah, so Kara instead choosing to queue up her oh, okay. Evolved Shaman. Evolved Shaman. And B-Boy queuing up that James Shaman, as I said. So, um, curious to see. Oh, wow. Kara not Kara, picking up a uh, one drop. She needs a top decket for this hand to be. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky though. Unlucky. Okay, at least she has a primal fin on two, and Pipoi will take two turns to clear it off mm-hmm. because he'll have to jade closet twice. But oh look, yeah, there's the one that, drop you wanted. That, uh, <laughs> feels so bad. Yeah, it does it. feel. I mean, on turn two, it's like you just wasted one turn that yeah. could have been better if you just drew things in a different order. But that's oh that's well. so true. Yeah. Right now, the Jade Clause, I think people is going to hit the... Okay, yeah, I think you definitely hit this and uh, the Primal Fin Totem and try and clear it out next turn. So Kara now can play the other one and the Firefly. Mm-hmm. Just go wide. I don't think you play around Lightning Storm this early no, in the no. game. Yeah, Flame Tongue would be the best option mm-hmm. right now. Oh, not Flame Tongue. I think, oh, sorry. I think Primal Fin and Primal fin? Firefly. Yeah, oh. The Flame Tongue doesn't get her any good trades. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. I, I think Primal Fin, Firefly, and then trade into mm-hmm. the, the one one so that... Oh, to goes use to the Totemic the instead. Okay. Oh, the taunt. Wow, she just she got, got a taunt. She got the taunt like a champ. Yeah. I mean, if you know you're going to roll taunt to protect your primal fin, then sure, that seems really good. <laughs> Blessed by RNG. Blessed RNG. Here uh, we go. So, uh, Kara is going... Yeah, I think yeah, the Firefly, Firefly for sure. This deck sure. is all about flooding the board. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would have been awesome if the Bloodlust was there, but they, so yeah, I guess this no. play was to respect Maelstrom Port a little bit more and just worked out really well since she rolled the Taunt Totem, which is insane. So people now, I think there's no need to use the weapon because he might mm-hmm. have to coin Volcano soon. But I guess he wants to just play minions and then hold the yeah. Volcano for a little bit later. So now Kara can play Flame Dong and... Uh, I mean, I don't mind playing the other primal fin unless you're scared of volcano but it seems so early to play it, yeah, it <laughs> seems. but yeah this plus flame tongue seems fine i think you trade with the spell power <laughs> because yeah, that's sure. gonna be annoying yeah, yeah definitely. spell power totem is always the best uh totem for the shaman these days uh, well, i thought Kara would go for the maelstrom. She's yeah, that seems really for. unnecessary. I yeah. just wonder where you place the flame tongue. Probably next to the primal fin and mm-hmm. the one one, so you get max damage to face. It's true. While still killing, I mean, killing the thing, mm-hmm. the spell power. Right now, Kara is thinking of whether to flood the board even more or just trade. Okay, yeah, there, there's a. Okay, flame I'm tongue. not sure about this placement because. Because the primal fin spawns another one, it's like the flame tongue will be uh, sort of yeah. in the middle anyway. So she missed one damage to face like this. So. Oh look, it's a maelstrom for me. Ooh, if well, he rolls spell power, oh <laughs> that is super juicy. I think uh, that the volcano, the volcano here is a little premature. 
I yeah, I mean, <laughs> overload for two, and next turn you're gonna have like yeah, three I mana mean, instead. Portal cleared most of her board anyway. Oh, oh look, look, it's a thing from below. That's Oof, that's, that's sick. Insane. Yeah, she can and go primal thin, thin hero, hero power, power, and then the flame elemental as well will fit because the thing is her. Oh yeah. So the refill is insane, and now people are probably wishing he held that volcano. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the Millstone mm-hmm. Portal, it, like you said, the Hero port, uh, hero Power, excuse me, Hero Portal, <laughs> Hero Power, and then the Millstone Portal would have been better. I mean, it doesn't, it, yeah. it's not a sure clear, but at least you clear some of it. Yeah, even if you don't roll the spell power, like, you just have to play around not mm-hmm. dying to Bloodlust and then hold out for a turn it's when true. you can clear mm-hmm. the board more efficiently. And that's when you can get back into the oh, game. And now, the Hex, yeah, uh, like, uh, so unneeded. No, I think it was definitely the right play. He had nothing else to do that turn that was relevant. So mm-hmm. just removing as much damage as possible and praying that there's no blood <laughs> Try to set up for a good portal. I think that was fine here. Uh, so, well, Pipoy does get his mana back for six right now. I mean, what so can you Kyra do? Kyra actually not drawing anything to do. She really wants that bloodlust. Or I even thought you might play Flame Tongue there just to pressure a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But now... But so of course, oh, th- th- uh, like six turns too late. <laughs> so portal plus flame tongue seems pretty clean yep. here, but you would play the flame tongue first in case you get that one drop that makes your yeah that makes more minion charge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there we go, and maelstrom. Yeah, no? I don't see the point to holding maelstrom. Yeah. Yeah, and then probably trade heavy. the spell power first, and then hero power to try and get spell power again, but. If yeah. she wanted healing specifically, then this makes more sense. But yeah. Oh, that's sick. That th- that tight collar is gonna get buffed when the Merlock yeah. comes out. Oh wow! There that's we go. Okay. That's okay. That's so <laughs> Wow, Storm, the value. Is it there? <laughs> nope. Uh, that has to go into the flame tongue, and I guess he played yeah, on yeah. the three drop. But you are really not feeling good. His things from below are very expensive. Jades are not big enough. Yeah, the hero, the totems yeah. aren't really being valued. But here. Kara still with no bloodlust means that. Yeah. yeah, I guess she's gonna be trading this board and then playing down Aya. That seems really sure. strong. Hmm. No, there's no need to jade lightning like you said. So yeah, Aya seems better. She so, might be thinking yeah. about devolving because. Hmm. It's not like it's getting a better use, so maybe if she devolves, there's a way to make your Murloc Tide Caller survive. Mm-hmm. But I think Aya definitely has yeah, to come down Aya. this turn, one way or another. I mean, so more damage on board. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. so... The more I look at it, the, more, the less I mind oh, the devolve. Wow, lighting. she's holding back the Aya, I wonder why. Like now, I don't, you know, I don't see why you would hold on to... Uh, and goes for the hero power instead. And who gets the, the spirit totem? Man, two damage per turn. That's not really annoying, you know? I mean, where's the yeah. bloodlust? Come on, give yeah. her the bloodlust. <laughs> <laughs> or it's just a race between whether Kara draws blood first, bloodlust first or people draws AoE. I mean, yeah, that's first. true. So I mean, let's use Volcano and Portal. I'm pretty sure there's a second Portal. I don't know if there's a second Volcano. Mm-hmm. Probably Lightning Storm as well. Doppel without uh, the ball doesn't seem with it quite good enough. You so, definitely do not devolve this one. Yeah, no, yeah. no. <laughs> so, I mean, that seven uh, that seven to cast minion could turn into something insane. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like this. Trade the small dudes, play down Aya. I, uh, mm, I, I go with the face with the tie color. Yeah, uh, Aya. Yep. Aya, then hero power. I mean, there's a ton on board. So it's not really going to deal damage to other minions. Yeah, I, I don't know what the hesitation on holding the Aya is yeah, about. Yeah, true. I mean, if Aya was actually there last turn, uh, could have taken down the five five sooner. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or, or just dealt five to face. Mm-hmm. Right now, that Aya, I think, is gonna have to deal with thing from below, or maybe people you could play down his own. Play like down. for mm-hmm. sure, by now he knows there's no bloodlust in hand for mm-hmm. Kara, so maybe he takes this opportunity to try and develop his own stuff, mm-hmm. and then. It, it sucks to play around top decks, right? So I wouldn't mind if he just goes for Aya himself here. Oh, look. Okay. <laughs> you can go woohoo and think from below now. That seems a better use of mana. Yeah, yeah, it does. Sure. I mean... Oh, gonna heal up. I'm really yeah. playing around Bloodlust, but... Is this... Uh, <laughs> I mean, 
he I think he should know by now that it's not in hand from Kara, but yeah. I guess the board says okay. Okay, well <laughs> let's get in. we're in business. So So two trade the two two with the five five. Yeah. Then trade Aya with the five five. No. No, no. Yeah. Uh, three two and two two in the thing from below I yeah, into yeah. the five five and then you have and then uh, double enough bo- yeah, yeah. board space for double evolve and just yeah. try to dodge the doomsayer from the evolve and you're fine. <laughs> doomsayer, don't say that. I mean, it might come out from the, the from you're the. You're trying to dodge it. <laughs> you're trying to dodge it. Yeah. You're gonna say it. <laughs> But if it does happen, yeah, Kara has no way to trade her smaller totems down. So that's true. I uh, mean, I both of her flame towns are already yeah. gone. So mm-hmm. Doomsayer is roughly <laughs> one in seventy, and if you have two chances, then it's two in seventy. Two in so, seventy. So I doubt we're gonna see that, but <laughs> nah, nah, it seems nah. like <laughs> it has to be that because yeah, people right. six drops are just very very hard to deal with, mm-hmm. unless Kara gets always the the small time big time racketeer, the one one. Oh something. yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Here we go. Be. Um. No doomsayer. Yeah, none. Well, okay. at least there's a poisonous. <laughs> this, this is insane. Yeah, people are not picking up the volcano. Not that it would have been enough to deal with all of this. So, uh, Kara. Jades are has... getting bigger though. Uh, Manatide and Ooh. oh, oh. <laughs> anyway. Not quite lethal yet. Oh look, there's a volcano though. <laughs> okay, that's that pretty sucks. sad. I guess Carol will want to devolve now, but you yeah. trade the Hobart into the uh, the Jinyu and then kill off the Manatide and then devolve, I think. Mm, that's true. And then mm. she can kill, you use the Poisonous to kill one of the things that comes out and then just never lose the board from there. She could yeah. also go all face, but I think killing the Jinyu is pretty good. Oh, what's she going she, to do with that? She might leave the Aya up and then devolve, or just not devolve at all. I don't oh. think she needs to worry about clearing the whole board. Probably clear the mana tide, yeah. Trading patches with a 3-1. Let's go. Yeah, patches <laughs> gets buffed. That's cute. 2-2. <laughs> two, two. Well, Kara, I think she's going to trade patches into the 3-1. Yeah, or the whole board, it's the same thing. But That's true. Uh, yeah, I, I do like clearing this off. Yeah, she's it seems just, better. She too. needs to just think about the health totals of Volcano. Okay, so she's taking value trades, mm-hmm. and her total only. health on board is. 15 oh, plus okay. She trades with everything, yeah. keeping okay. Aria there. Uh, I mean, Aya there. Yeah. So now Volcano. Volcano. No, because because if people trades the Aya, then it has a death rattle. Yeah, it has a death rattle. And yeah. then it's not enough for Volcano. So if he value trades the Aya, okay. Yeah, Eight, I mean... 14, 16, 18, 19, mm-hmm. minus 3. So one thing will survive from Kara here, I think. A 2 oh, things never mind. Survive. Yeah. So, so the it's four, a little unlucky four, about how the damage got distributed, I guess. Oh, yeah. look, another yeah. stone. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Man, that's annoying to see. I mean, a stone yeah. hill defender summoning another stone. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what Kara gets from the 4-1. Oh, oh so one late. turn too late! That's annoying to see so much. I mean, I think now she just goes for value trade, play the Blood Sail Corsair, yeah. go face with the 4-1, and then try Hopefully. to get at least two minions for the Bloodlust later. The taunt is really The taunt's really good. Yeah, good right that's now. insane. Because now Pipoi won't have a good way of clearing the 4-1, barring yeah. a top deck. But he will probably be able to play two taunts next turn, so... Still in, in a fine spot. It's not over yet. Yeah, I think Kara's still in a good spot for Bloodlust right okay. now. I mean, the two volcanoes went down. And not unless people d- draws the Maelstrom portal from his... Okay, it doesn't draw it. That's not it. So that's Stonehill... Into another taunt that has to be like four or five. I mean, you want to avoid... Uh, okay. I mean, I don't think the size of the taunt matters that much as long as he plays the taunt. Because that's true. Yeah, Bloodlust would be enough there so now it's uh kara has to devolve oh, and th- it's if, another the, taunt. if the devolve gets another taunt then it's not enough I it's guess. not enough could be but oh, yeah. oh no it's i mean it's, it's gotta be this right yeah i mean if that's no uh, more taunts oh easy, okay easy, there we go and the easy, easy. third game goes to kara right there and then <laughs> wow that, that devolve mattering so much in this lineup i mean uh, it's that's just a pretty. Get crazy. out of taunt free card. You know? Yeah, that's true. 
I mean, uh, really well played by Kara right there. I mean, if those bloodlusts went in earlier, Kara would have won. I mean, she had she she was completely with the board for like uh, three or four turns. Yeah, and also mm-hmm. trading with Volcano in mind to mm-hmm. make sure that her board was more than fifteen health in total. So, as well played from Kara. I think that the early Volcano from P Boy hurt him a lot, but then it's really hard to come back from Doppel Evolve. Yeah, I mean, once uh, once that goes down, and then the minions have the HP to survive Volcano. Wow. Yeah, it's just insane. <laughs> I mean, that was a four six. There was a two four. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was pretty annoying to see as well. I, I mean, I. And everything went well for Kara. I mean, the third game goes into her favor, and she's left with the Merlock the Paladin. Mer- the Merlock Paladin, yeah. Which is a bit more mid range because we saw Curator. Mm-hmm. So right and now, Spellbreaker as oh. well. That is not something you see yeah. in Paladin or any. Well, I guess you see it in some Pirate Warriors, but it's definitely not standard. So yeah, interesting to see standard. how this works. Um, boy with a full toss hand for sure. I yes, think this might sure. be a full toss for Kara. She could think about keeping Finja, especially since she's on coin. But yeah, that's true. That's I true. think that it matters more to get a one drop in this match. One into two into three. Because oh. you run six of those, I think, in this, uh, in this matchup. In the Paladin, yeah. Six mm-hmm. one drops, so. People with a decent hand. Stonia looks like yeah, it's not like you have much to do in the early game. I think he really true. wanted the jade claws more than anything. But yeah, so you could clear out the m- yeah. more annoying Merlocks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like the third caller. There you go. The there best go. one drop for Kara coming into hand. It would have been funny to see that every deck had the hungry crab because every deck has a <laughs> Merlock. <laughs> no, I don't think every uh, lineup man. includes Merlocks these days. Some people it's play true. Paladin just. Even play like the Zoth now, and they run Hydrologist still, but Hungry Crab definitely no, not as good in that matchup. Not gonna really give much value. Yeah. So, yeah, the tight color for Kara, and I think she's gonna end the turn right there. Yeah. Like you said, the coin is going to be for Finja for sure. Yeah, uh, people with no real options here, just mm-hmm. hero power, no. play Stonehill. I think he just needs to try and weather the storm until. He gets like a big AOE, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then after that, drops some Jade stuff. That's how you win this matchup. So, mm, spell power a little bit annoying for Kara. Ooh. Oh, look, War Leader. Uh, well, you could coin that out. Yeah, I mean, just and then follow it up with the Cold Light, mm-hmm. then Cold prevent light the turn. Blessing of Kings. Uh, all of the buff cards are not that good against Shaman because they run Hex and Devolve. But, That's true. Uh, I do think that th- this kind of curve dictates that Kara clear this out. Also, if she doesn't play a Murloc, then the spell power survives. The, the, so, this is definitely fine. So, P-Boy can actually... Can well, I think you should hex a 3-3. Yeah, I think that is the just way leader. too much. It's too scary for sure. But mm-hmm. now Kara um, will do the cold light to buff. <laughs> it's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, fun. and now that she saw a hex, like, she should be confident about playing Blessing of Kings the turn after. So yeah. P-Boy really needs Volcano in this. But uh, the Jade Lightning uh, the Jade Lightning on the is three, quite four. Okay, Oh, look, there's a there's Volcano. A volcano. <laughs> so now I'm feeling very confident for P-Boy here. Because that will be able to clear what Finja brings out. Mm-hmm. But I expect to see a blessing on the frog, I think. Yeah. Then she could go face. It's not like this shaman deck runs um, a, uh, flame tongue or buff, so she no, doesn't no. really have to trade into the 1 1. Yep, the blessing of king goes down for the frog. And it's gonna go face for both of these minions. Yep, definitely <laughs> like that. It's so, so funny to see a f- buffed frog. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Volcano way too early here, so I guess it's mm-hmm. just gonna be Stonehill hero power. The taunt is still annoying. Yeah, I mean, think, think this thing from below actually... Oh, treated with the frog. I'm I mean, not sure about oh that. <laughs> immediately, he immediately regrets it. the decisions. I, I wonder what the thing. Yeah, I mean, him. what was Hard that to for? Hard to misclick two clicks, you know. Yeah, it's that's a click true. and drag. So especially if you're playing on yeah. the mobile, I'm like, oh no, I I didn't mean to play this because your fingers might be too big. <laughs> the yeah. the screen doesn't register. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this thing from below either. I feel like mm, you could just play more. He's still at twenty one. That's not too low yeah. and you could play one taunt and absorb at least four damage and then follow it up with volcano and then you can play the thing from below for cheaper along with other minions mm-hmm. so yeah now Kara probably just gonna play Finja and yeah, the Finja's pass thing from below 
Mm. If people eh, w- w- was really scary with volcano already, <laughs> but with Finja on board. Yeah, I mean, but you it, it's a good volcano mm. if you didn't play the thing from below, right? That's um, true. You get to clear the Finja before it even clears anything out. But now I guess he's gonna hold it for after the Finja goes off. Mm-hmm. But Kara not even playing the Finja, my, my bad. So I guess she's trying to fish for noble sacrifice to protect the frog. The frog. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, okay, there's a noble sacrifice. Right? Yeah. The getaway go to get us so really bad here. So oh bad, my yeah. gosh, yeah. <laughs> so it's not really good. You do just much. get a frog back, haha. <laughs> so yeah, just gonna pass here. Okay, so holding the Finja, maybe it's with volcano in mind, but now people can just go for a double stone hill and I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the double stone hill. Mm-hmm. Right uh, right there. Mm-hmm. I mean it's too early for a volcano, like you said. I you mean, could be scared of something like Megasaur, but oh, my oh God. really? But I really don't think it's good here because um it, you, you kill your own minion yeah, I mean, which is significantly large and then next turn is five mana then you're reduced to probably playing stone help as hero power and now kara gets a yeah, really a really good finja. menacing finja which threatens to kill us um not the stone hill on board but she has the mega sword for next turn and mm-hmm. even if she doesn't want to play it she can just curate her pass and feel confident it's true. still i mean n- and now people is gonna have to think of I mean, go. You could heal instead of hero power. Oh, okay, yeah. the stone hill defender, and then hero power. Yeah. And what, I wonder what people get through. The thing from below, but man, he's just been missing. A lot <laughs> he goes for the castro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Consecrate, pretty good here. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does seem. I mean, people should have thought about the consequences of going with the castro. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's <laughs> about as good as just hero powering. That's so. true. Now, oh, wow, those are really bad pulls as well. But uh, I mean, it's good enough. She has double yeah, gentle I'm... Megasaur next turn, and Peepoy doesn't have AoE. So I guess he'll have to Jade Lightning the Finja. Yeah, and then just Jade Lightning up. the Finja. All, all things considered, it's a relatively good turn, but double Megasaur is scary. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Wind Fury, then plus three attack. That's it. Yep. <laughs> Right now, okay, people decide it, wait, to heal. Wait, wait, if, if it's Wind Fury, it's 10 plus 12, 30. It's actually not in. Wait, mm. 10 plus uh, 8 plus 1. Yeah, that'll just be 19. So. This is 19. So, so Curator. Yeah, the Curator's not bad right yeah, now. Mm-hmm. So efficient use of mana, then you play around. Oh, actually, look, it's technically, a what? double Megasaur okay. is more efficient, but yeah. So it looks like this isn't actually mid range. I thought that if you run Curator, you would yeah. run also the Drake, but. Uh, I guess the curator is there just to pull megasaurs, and you just don't run a dragon. So all things considered, most of the time it's still seven mana, four six draw two, so it's not horrible. So right now, Peepoy knows that the two megasaurs are in hand for Kyra. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, basically, curator showed what uh, what's going on in Kara's hand right there. Not mm. much she could have done about it. Yeah, so true. I guess it's gonna be. Uh, Mm. Consecrate is not no. that good here. Maybe Consecrate plus one Megasaur. Yeah. But yeah, maybe yeah, Megasaur first, see what you get. Oh look, there's a way. <laughs> what? Yeah, I like uh. that. <laughs> and then play the other Megasaur. And then just don't respect AoE anymore. Because yeah, because the <laughs> volcano did go down. I mean, the minions, the minions are out of range for uh, Maelstrom Portal. So Kara's thinking of, I think, yeah, the Wind Fury is good. I mean, you're not gonna do much with the mm, plants. Never mind. <laughs> All right, that's rattle very safe and respectful of mm-hmm. more AOE, so not too bad. So I think this means that she's gonna go for the Consecrate now. Hmm. Oh look, somebody <laughs> opened the last Kaleidoscope. <laughs> Consecration. Trade the one one into the three one. Yeah, and leave Aya up. That seems fine. I think. Okay. Yeah. The. Yep. It goes to the face. Mm-hmm. So Kara next turn. If he draws an. If she draws another Murloc. It's not. I mean, people is gonna play two taunts this turn, mm-hmm. presumably plus Jinyu. It's actually a really good turn. <laughs> yeah. The. But then. You might want a spirit echo because it's just not getting better. Yeah. So just put another Aya back in hand. Yeah, I don't see the need to heal mm-hmm. quite yet, so I like this from people. So right now, 
Oh wow. Earth uh, Elemental is insane too. But no, nah, it's late in the game, so. Yeah, I, I oh, the like, Sunwalker. I, I like okay. Sunwalker yeah. better yeah. to play around something like poisonous. Oh, yeah, Divine but... Shield as well. Mm-hmm. You never know when there's a poisonous. Okay, so Aya does go back into the hand as well, mm-hmm. and there's a 4 4 in Jade. Boy just has a lot of gas, so. Uh... Mm. Right now, Kara could. Yeah, okay, okay. there's a Sony the stone. I wasn't sure about that because I thought she wanted to play Megasaur and True Silver this turn. <laughs> play the ball creeper. Yeah, it has to be ball creeper here. The rest are too bad. Uh-huh. I mean, what are you going to do with the hired guy <laughs> and the Torin warrior? Yeah, nothing. I mean, maybe you take the hired gun because you're scared of Hex or something, but like... Oh, the general takes it. So, hired gun hired. and the True Silver. Okay, okay just so she could play it with the True Silver this turn, but I kind of wanted to see the Megasaur come down. True. So... So it looks like hired gun plus yeah value trade the megasaur into this go face with the two Murlocs. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm. Yeah, and people are still in need of AOE, but he could play a lot of taunt and heal this turn if you want. It's true. I mean, the stone is there. The hot spring elemental is there. Wow, so, immediately jading into the 1 4. I mean, I kind of liked removing the 4 3 because it's. It yeah, it's damage. I mean, it's, it's damage is 4. I mean, Akara actually has like the potential. No, and, and, and never mind. I mean, the Hot Spring does heal. Yeah, wow, people are just going healing. For double heal plus. Oh, wow, not playing the Jade Spirit. This is super defensive. I really wanted to see the Jade Spirit come down there. Hmm. Because like he could have oh, gone hard to, okay. to tw- wow hired guns for everyone. He could have gone <laughs> to uh, seventeen and still not been mm. dead on board. And you you just have a five five and a it's two true. three I as mean, opposed to a one four taunt. So, Kara's getting value out of that true silver champion as well. I mean, it would have been I mean, better, like you said, to go for Jade Spirit than even then her, instead so. of the genuine. Mm. But uh, yeah, right. I mean, I just think that. Kara's looking pretty favored here. She just mm. keeps stacking the board like this. I want to see the Megasaur come down. <laughs> I guess she's still playing around AoE, but I mean, if she lets uh, people develop more pressure, like he won't need the AoE. He yeah, just needs to need AOE. play more Jade. So. so right now, I think you Megasaur steed? plus Steed, but Megasaur mm-hmm. first because it's the uh. unsure event. Yeah. Oh, here we go. And you go with the Megasaur. Come on. Oh, yeah, okay, so no. she still wants to hold it. Okay. Um. I mean, I think Kara is looking for another Murloc. I think it's, it's she's scared of it. I mean, the Megasaur is just more pressure. Plus, it buffs the already existing Murloc. I, mm-hmm. I would have wanted to see it come down last turn. Because I think that if Pipoy has, like, second Volcano, then she loses anyway. So. Mm-hmm. Jade Claws, no. Well, you could summon a 5-5. Five, five. I Jade kind of like this Aya Hired Gun. Is that enough? Actually, no, it's scary yeah. to die, but... Oh, man. Sunwalker, not too good with a 1-1 one, one on board either. So. Yeah, I mean, the Divine Shield's so gonna guess, be taken down. So I guess it's Aya Hired Gun. Yeah, that, that would be better and the, uh, more efficient use of mana. But if Peepoy plays it defensively... <laughs> he goes for a double taunt, but yeah, for I, I double really taunt, don't but like no, it. it's not really. Yeah, I feel like true. he doesn't win the game. That okay, so this is going wider currently because he can fit in the jade clause. Ah, uh, wow! But there's yeah. so many jades yep, right now. Fine. Sunkeeper, no. Tyrim is. That's not gonna do you much. If he gets plus three attack, it's one off. I think. It's one off. Hmm. Wait. Uh, you can Megasaur first then if you get plus three attack then you can go face with your six attack mm-hmm. murloc and the gentle megasaur and then yeah it's still not, it's enough. Still not enough and then you play the tarim yeah it's a bit of a confusing turn so we don't know right now what's going to happen for uh, <laughs> I'm having a bit of a technical difficulty, sorry for this. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. sorry about that, guys. The screen froze a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
and and no, it's the nut there. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. It's only we only see attack animations. Oh my. Oh, okay. What's there we go. Happening. Okay. Okay. So, Kara uh, went, opted, for uh, went for trades and trades. tarim. tarim. So yeah, so I don't think bad. there was a way to get diesel there, so that was probably right, whatever she did. So <laughs> uh yeah, no, people still know AoE. Maybe there's really just one Oh one, look at the devolve. One in the deck. But th- mm. this has to be. Oh uh, wait, there's no Murloc on board. So it's not lethal yet. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right now. What do you go for like this? Just trade stuff and go face with mm. the rest, but uh, I wonder. I wonder if keeping the Tyrem at full health was better than keeping an extra three three. There we go. And the vault's not gonna really do anything for you. And Kairos, I mean, it's fine on the plants, but yeah, on the Megasaur and the Tyrem, it's not quite enough. So he needs second volcano if it's in the deck. I'm not sure. Hmm. You, you know what, what would be crazy if that gentle Megasaur turned into a war leader. <laughs> Because, <laughs> I mean, devolve it from 4 to 3, right? It becomes a war lead. <laughs> yeah, but Kara doesn't even have Murlocs on board at the moment. That's so. true. Well, what if those devolves on those plants could become those little tiny Murlocs? Would it be the baby Murlocs? Oh, the tiny fin is not in standard anymore. Oh, yeah. Sad. Sorry. It is. <laughs> well, looks like Kara decides to buff the tide corner. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just it's not bad. No, that's just strictly better than doing it the other way around. So oh, the J-Chief. It's not going to be enough for a taunt. Yeah, though. he needs to evolve Devolve. and get really bad minions for a car. Yeah, that's not it's enough. Always How big is the Jade? Uh, it's like going to be like 7. seven, seven. Okay, there okay you go. so... Hmm. Kara, uh, I mean, Pipoi is alive? Yeah. Is he though? <laughs> I mean, depends what Kara draws, but currently she's 3 off. Blessing of Kings. There we go. Oh, that's three. That, that's, three. <laughs> that's lethal. <laughs> that's is lethal. So right now, rallying blade. It doesn't matter as long as you put exactly seven <laughs> into the, yeah, into the dot. Uh, <clears throat> okay, there we go. <laughs> Kara even done. reinforces the wind. I don't know if she thinks she has a film, but like she'll see it. She'll see it. She'll see it. Really. Okay, yep. there we go. Well played. And so Kara takes it 3 1. One. Congratulations to Kara. Moving on up to in the. the, top four. the yeah, I guess the top we four. know kung sino mas cute sa kanila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the cuter person <laughs> goes to Kara cute. I guess. I mean, when you have a battle between two people named cute, then there's only one prize they're there's looking only for, one right? Prize. Who is the cuter one? <laughs> Who is the cuter one? Apparently, it's Kara cute. Mm-hmm. So, right now. Uh, yeah, th- that was a pretty good uh, games for Kara and Pipo IQ mm-hmm. right there. I mean, a lot of plays that could have been better. I mean, yeah, for I think more about Pipoi. when the AOE was used mm-hmm. versus safe. But yeah, um, Kara also had some really fortunate draws at some mm-hmm. point. So a lot of the time when the aggro player draws their bait, uh, fledgling, there's just oh, nothing yeah, you the can fledg- do. There was nothing you <laughs> so, could do to have done. Oh well. There. Yeah, I mean, even the hungry crab will yeah. just start for Pipo. I mean, just came down to what um, to what draw. So uh, we're going to take a five minute break. I mean, thank you guys for joining us. For those of you who are watching, also tell your friends that Mesa Hearthstone is alive right now. So thank you very much. The, uh, we're going to go into five minute break.